<laughs> he, he didn't need to keep living. That's fine. Got another ring. Ring depicting a hand grasping a redstone increases fire attack, but compromises damage absorption. An old fable in Londor claims that the lure of the clutch ring uh, reaches out to the crestfallen who might otherwise be overcome by despair. It's a good ring. I like that you thought about it and then stabbed an innocent man. Well, I mean, he didn't look very happy. L listen, as an unkindled, I have the right to put people out of their misery when they don't ask for it. <laughs> the Royal Archives Bonfire 15 Freed from the Dragon Slayer. That's the one I was thinking of, too. That's, like, exactly the example I was thinking of. Uh, so, like, there's literally, like, a bonfire to a shortcut that leads directly to a boss, and then the boss room has a bonfire, and then 15 feet with zero enemies between it is another bonfire. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'd much rather something like that than, uh, like the point and click enemy placement that Dark Souls 1 had in like Lost Isolith and stuff. Yeah, no, I mean, like, there, there are stuff like that. Can't be perfect. And bonfire placement does matter. It makes it, it gives a feeling, you know, that that stress that stress that comes with trying to look for the next one is definitely an important part of the Soul series. So it's not nothing. Woof, woof. Bow wow. Come here, puppy. Come here, puppy. Uh, oh yeah, we well, can see the projectile these, these ladies shoot. Uh, a bunch of little insects. <laughs> They have really interesting voices. Like, it, it echoes through their mask. Almost. Something. Nesso? Interesting name. <laughs> Great curse ridden tree head. This is not a player message. Unequip my ring of calamity. Oh, wait. Does this one. Compromise of damage absorption. Oops, I missed that. Thank you. <laughs> Is, that's the one that uh, stops bleeding, right? Oh, no. It increases fire attack. Okay. I think I was reading that one without really uh, being there mentally. <laughs> it happens sometimes. So, this door does not open. Uh, I love these flowers, though. Look at me. What does this say? Oh, this is also... A transposing killed lies within the belly. What the fuck? I didn't know this was here. I probably just always thought that was a player message. Uh, oh, I was gonna say, though, the thing about the rings in this game that I'm already loving so much is that you're, like, freedom. Because, uh... So... Dark Souls 1 only has the two slots for the rings. Uh, on top of that... Depending on what you build you're doing, of course, but I think it's probably safe to say a lot of people like to do heavier builds in Dark Souls. And then you also just have a much stricter uh, equip load in that game. So I feel like, even though there's two ring slots, a lot of time there's only really one because you're gonna have apples to increase your equip load. Which, uh, kind of sucks. Well, I wanna see, like, let's look at what fat rolling looks like in this game. What's the heaviest thing we have? Can we even get fat rolling right now? Uh, where's the weight? Okay, 4.5, 8. Okay, definitely put that on, and then... There. Let's put a big old shield on. Okay, so so at one point, you actually just can't even roll. So if we uh, unequip this, maybe? If we can fat roll. And is there, is that it? Because is there, like, one in between now? Oh, 
Oh, yeah, that's a that's a slower roll, but it like. Oh man, I, this one's even like hard to tell the difference almost. But it is slower than the fast roll. I kind of forgot what this even looked like because it's it still looks like your character's like jumping the same distance. Honestly, it's just a little bit slower. And then you take. Oh wait, is that not the? Oh, hold on, I might be nuts. Oh, I think I'm actually just insane, because this is the same speed. <laughs> okay. Ooh, just ignore me. <laughs> it just it just has this like lag to it all of a sudden that I'm noticing. The brain the brain is a weird mechanism. It doesn't always do the right thing. <laughs> it doesn't always see things correctly. Hello? I'm sure there's nothing... Nothing sus in there. Anything sus? Hello? Oh wow, they just didn't aggro for a second. <laughs> Big rat. Sus indeed. I don't know why I tried to do that. Everything staggers in this game early on. I know that won't be true forever. There's the... Okay, th I think this is the one I was thinking of. Because this one helps bleed. Okay. They're both red with the silver... Uh, one of the bite rings native to, to Kareem increases bleed resistance. The crafting of these rings is forbidden, perhaps owing to a fear of malleable stone. Clerics, however, dabble freely in the art. Okay. This one we can put on. Everything always stacks, yeah. Well, again, just coming from Dark Souls 1, it's like a big difference so far. There's so much shit in Dark Souls 1 you have to be so careful around, because unless you're wielding, like, the Black Knight Greatsword, you're, uh, you're probably going to eat shit, even if you hit him. So, we have let out into area, and that is the bridge we were in where those two, uh, thief guys attacked us a while ago. We'll, we'll, we'll see where we are. We got another bonfire. Uh, I would say this is the first example of a bonfire that's a little too close to another one, because the other one's literally just right up there through the sewer. They, they definitely just, it just wasn't a focus in this game. Trying to make, like, every bonfire feel sparse. Okay, um, yeah, it is a hidden bonfire, to be fair, but, uh, okay, so I'm trying to think, do I want to go back, or do we want to, I think we can go up here first, uh, but we're actually going to get invaded by Holy Knight Hodrick. Oh, he looks familiar, who's that? He's, uh, he's the guy who was like, you seem hollow. Are you sure you're not hollow? Look at him trying to parry us. Are you- just look, you see that? See him trying to parry us? The fuck? Oh, I was hoping he would hold a shield up for that. Oh, we got a pyromancy. Here we go. Oh, he's, he's healing. Okay, and now we got this guy on us. Fuck. Shit. <laughs> Why did he aggro? That's so unfair. Coming up. Can he even come up? Oh, God. Oh, he ran out. Bitch ass ran out of asses. Backstab. 
Oh, so that should- Oh, God. <laughs> he got me with the parry! <laughs> okay, I thought we could space that. Is that, that a healing aura? Actually, heals me too, I think, right? Yeah, it does. Oh, again? <laughs> I need healing. <laughs> I need healing. <laughs> he moved it! <laughs> A strategic genius. This is the greatest fight of my life. I'm actually struggling. <laughs> I'm just afraid of the parry now. It parryfies me. I just want to hit him with this. Please let me block break you. Yes, we're doing this. We're doing this now. And it didn't work. <laughs> no! <laughs> Never been styled on so hard! No! <laughs> I've never been so humiliated in my life. Oh my god. <laughs> That man fucked me up. God damn. Okay, well, I feel like we had it for a while. I probably just got too scared of his parry. I think that's what happened. Back to the bridge of battle. I must fight you again. <laughs> Hello? Where is he? What the fuck? Where did he go? Oh. What the- Oh, he does he's not even interested. Bro. I'm dying inside now. This is- this is- this is the most humiliated I've ever been. <laughs> He doesn't even consider me a challenge. <laughs> Come on, dude. Come on, I'm worthy. <laughs> My voice cracked. I'm worthy. <laughs> Fight me! It's like a Xenos from FF14. <laughs> like, and he's the Warrior of Light. It's like, please fight me, and the Warrior of Light is like, uh, like, nah. I gotta save the world. And he's like, please? <laughs> and it's like, nah. And then uh, one more time, he's like, you know you wanna. And then you're like, ah, all right. <laughs> the rush of battle motivates thee. Does it not? <laughs> hey, we got the backstop. All right, it's over. He's done. This is it. Say goodbye. Oh my god. Oh, the damn fence! <laughs> Oh, I thought I thought he was just about to like stand still. I'm like, am I fighting a player? <laughs> Did it like accidentally summon a player? 